78 years, the home to the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Ohio Stadium packed with 94,000 tonight. Script Ohio for only the fourth time in the twilight. The fourth night game in the history of this facility about to square off the Buckeyes and the Bruins. That's the matchup tonight, the Pac-10 and the Big Ten. The Bruins come in 1-0 and rank 13th, 14th ranked Ohio State off to an 0-1 start. Here come the Buckeyes, and the Bruins will be coming out next. Our kickoff in a moment. Each have won three. There's been one tie, and we're underway for the tiebreaker tonight. Freddie Mitchell, four yards deep in the corner, decides to bring it. And cut wheels out to the 15-yard line. Our Chile starting lineup. The biggins up front, Worley, Phelan, Danoff, Safer, and Brian Polak, their most dependable tackle. Melsby and Freddie Mitchell, the wideouts. Brian Fletcher starts tonight at tight end. And in the backfield, Drew Bennett, Drew Bennett, who struggled against Boise State, especially in the first half. Deshaun Foster and Matt Stanley, who's a Columbus native, in there at fullback. They'll work from their own 14-yard line. Off the right side, a little bit of room out near the 19. And here is the defensive front four. Bailey Pickett Collins making his first start, and Brent Johnson, who was their defensive lineman of the year last season. The linebacking core, a Butkus candidate, an All-American candidate, and Diggs, Ott, and Bullard is back from a one-game suspension. In the secondary, they lost some great players. They still have some great ones. Plummer and Clements on the corners. Barry and Nicky are the safeties. Second down, a short five. And Bennett completes it out for a first down across the 25, and we'll develop that as we go. Fletcher, the tight end in motion. Play action. The bootleg and the toss is out to Fletcher. Nice move to get across the 30. So this offense uses the whole field and all the weapons. Second down and two from the 33. And Bennett comes up tossing it again. Fires almost intercepted. And now picked up by UCLA. And it's Matt Stanley down the sideline. The Columbus, Ohio natives got a touchdown. 67 yards off a deflected pass. And the fullback takes it all the way to the end zone. Have you ever seen a walk-on or a fullback run like that? He was running away from Gary Berry, the free safety plays, but I don't think he scripted that one. I don't think so either. Extra point is up and good. Griffith knocks it through, and the crowd is stunned. All right, take a look. Pretty innocent pass, a pass that could have been picked up. Drew Bennett goes from saying, oh, my gosh, to go for a touchdown. What a first play. that happening here in Buckeye Life. Touchdowns like that. Here's the kick. Kenyon Rambo waits for it at the five-yard line. Rambo almost broke out of the pack, got across the 25. 7-0 Bruins. Ohio State works from its own 28-yard line. Here's a pitch to Wyatt. The big ends up front, Walter, Gurr, Murphy. Gilbert and Henry Fleming, who the coaches say probably had the best game against Miami. Germany and Rambo with the wideouts. Wisniewski is a huge target at tight end. And in the backfield, at quarterback, Austin Mockerman. Michael Wiley, you just saw carry that. And Matt Keller is the offensive captain at fullback. Second down, a short seven. Mockerman comes up throwing, and he's got his first completion. Reggie Germany, first down and out of bounds. Defensively for UCLA, they change coordinators, and with it comes a 4-3 defense. Williams, Holland, Coker, and Coleman up front. The linebacking core, some substitutions in that linebacking core in secondary due to the suspension. Sonny Hall is starting tonight. Stansberry and Piper. And in the secondary, Hunter and Bell on the corners. Williams gets to start after his touchdown on an interception last year, uh, last week, rather. And Strykula, who is the captain of the defense tonight, a former walk-on, who's making his second start. Wiley, knocked down, nice defensive play. Second down, all of 10. Draw play to Wiley. Big opener off the left side. He's out across midfield. He's got a first down. And they got to get the tailback position off and running. They fake it to him, and Mockerman fires out complete. Inside the 40, Kenyon Rambo. <laughs> 
Well, they're going to go to the line of scrimmage, the original line of scrimmage, because they say he bobbled it, and the replay showed it. Didn't quite hold it at the 48. Flags down. This throw is complete to Germany. And much Five yard penalty. The down remains second. Wisniewski, the big tight end, comes over on a shift to the left side. Now Rambo in motion. Wiley on a counter. Not much there. Nice job defensively. And a ton of yardage every game. Third down. Mockerman under a blitz. Throws behind Germany. And the blitz. Freddie Mitchell calls for the fair catch and hopes it makes the end zone. It's not going to get there. Nice job. Foster straight up the middle. Deshaun Foster is going to be close to a first down. And just inside the 13-yard line. Straight up the middle. I think they might have lost a yard. Dead ball. Personal foul. Offense. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. They offset. Third down. More punches there than most heavyweight fights we watch. Trying to cut it outside to Sean Foster in his second effort, I think, got it for him. Danny Farmer seeing his first action. Flags down is the call. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. The down remains first. Looked like straight ahead, Swanee, in the warm-ups. He looked pretty good. Cutting is going to be his problem more than likely. Short gain, swarming defense. Got the 6-4 for him with Coley Dixon at 6-5. Farmer's school record, almost 1,300 yards receiving last year. Here's Deshaun Foster, and the ball squirts out. But Ohio State's got their nickel defense in. Three wide outs for Bennett from the shotgun. Rolling, and now he's going to keep it. He's got a long ways to go. Took a big hit from Plummer in Ohio. First down for the Bruins. Deshaun Foster, and he's got Bullard draped all over him. Got away, giving ground to try to gain ground. Oh, didn't work. Man. Nate Clements from the secondary. Zone goal line. Second and 26, and it's an empty backfield for the Brewers. Here comes a blitz. Quick throw over the middle. And out across the 20 to the 21. I think there was a couple of those consumed in the tailgating all afternoon here in Columbus. Third and 12. Screen. Foster, the intended receiver. A long yardage situation. And Deshaun Foster, a long time to get that punt off. He almost had it blocked. And Clements has to just clear out, and this thing's going to end up with a great UCLA bounce all the way down to the 23-yard line. Behind Mockerman, both wideouts to the near side. It's Wiley off the right side, slips through across the 25. Battle for supremacy there in the ACC. Here is Big Ten, Pac-10, and a completion out to Kenyon Rambo. Absolutely. First down at the 35. Mockerman play action. Zips it out. He's got Keller down the sideline. And the captain fullback. A little more wide open than last week. Wiley now up the middle. Oof, he was tested and big. And they have already given up a 67-yarder, as Gary said. Here's Mockerman off the roll. Trying to go right back to the same guy, Keller. He's been very valuable to this team in that way. Boy, Spencer looks like he could still play. Third down, blitz coming. Nice pressure on Mockerman. Way to put it if you're a quarterback. Stoltz to punt. Last time he dropped it down there and his coverage group got it at the three. This time he got a little too much on it. Goes in the end zone. You know, eight men block, throw it deep. You might see it pretty soon here. Flags all over the place. Bob the Toledo. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. The down remains first. UCLA had only three penalties all of last week, but that was Boise State. Yeah, and then these aren't Boise. Toledo and Al Borges continue to run the ball early in this game. Here's the give to Freddie Mitchell on an end around, and he got collared, and a yeah. penalty marker goes down. Rodney Bailey. All 15 yards of it, an automatic first down. Throughout this first quarter. Nice play fake by Bennett. Got pressure, got it down the middle, and got his tight end. Out across the 45, out to the 47. First down, Bennett changing the play up. Lewis will shift for the tail of the eye. A little bit of option from Bennett. The pitch to Jermaine Lewis. Got the corner. Nice stiff arm by the little guy. And he's out of bounds with another first down. Danny Farmer up here, bump and run. Farmer in motion. Here's the draw play inside. Got a man-to-man -man look to the outside. 
Going to go, well, he fell down. Oh, he was going to run a quarterback sneak, maybe a bad exchange, and Bennett takes a knee. I think they lost yardage here. As the wideouts. Ohio State showing blitz. Straight ahead, the fullback, and Stanley might have it. It's true. I mean, geez. Bad bulbs. Exactly. Inside the 43, Bennett pumps once and now gets it out to Stanley. Broke a tackle, puts his head down, gets inside the 40. Three wideouts, Farmer, Melsby, and Mitchell in there. It's Freddie Mitchell in motion, gets it on the end around. Throw back to the quarterback, Bennett wide open. Inside the 30, Drew Bennett, a cutback, got hammered at the 21-yard box. First down at the 21. Again, a little bit of option. Here's the pitch to Foster. And Deshaun has run out of bounds. And that's what he's done with his game plan so far. 11th play of the Bruin drive. Throwing it right down the middle. Kind of a dangerous spot. And a good first quarter for the Bruins visiting a hostile Ohio Stadium. They lead. ABC Sports presentation of college football returns after this message and a word from our ABC stations. As we start the second quarter. Two tight end set. Deshaun Foster, the single setback. It's option time again. Foster brought down. Great play by Gary Berry. Chris Griffith in to try 35-yard field goal. He was one for one in the season opener. Kick on the way. And Griffith is added to the Bruin lead from 35 yards away. UCLA try to pull a shocker on the road against the Buckeyes of Ohio State and doing a good job. 14-13 till halftime, it's 10-0. It isn't 1970 football anymore. People will stack the line of scrimmage. Even UCLA is gonna stop it. A real simple offense, and that's what the Buckeyes are running right now. Fixie's kick goes five yards deep, and Kenyon Rambo brings it out. Took a shot from his own man before he got to the 20-yard line. Ball loose, still Ohio State ball. Martin and Combs now in the backfield for Ohio State as they change things up. And second down and six. Play action for Mockerman going deep down the middle. Keller, his fullback, is in the clear. And Matt Keller. Matt Keller's got the two biggest plays of the night for Ohio State. Two catches already, 56 for his career, and they try to throw the quick out. His kids probably want to jump in there and talk <laughs> back at him. They don't get a chance at home. It's second down and 10. Ohio State goes right back to the same play and beat TCU. I mean, yep. that was a good two quarterback system right there. Penalty marker on the play. Prior to the snap, illegal contact by the defense. Five yard penalty. Results in the first down. Three, but I said the two big plays have come from Matt Keller, the fullback. Wiley trying the middle. Uh, there's not much there. No, you're, you're right. And that 20 straight victories in home openers. They trail by 10. Mockerman, play action, wants to go deep. Does for Rambo. Broken up. The last instant, Ricky Manning. The hurry to get this play off. They just do. Mockerman from the shotgun. Under pressure. Throws on the run. Got it to Wiley. Nice little sidestep inside the 20. Down to the 19, maybe the 18-yard line. And that and wanted a piece more of him after the play. Mockerman, he's going to keep this one. And slides. Ryan Greasy starts for the Broncos and the great one, Dan Marino, for the Dolphins. Wiley breaks into another first down and goal at the three-yard line. And Wiley in there at the tailback spot gets the pitch. Heading to the corner. Wiley, touchdown. First score at home this season. Wiley from three yards away. A lot of things have changed, and we've talked about the Buckeyes march down and get right back in the football game. An 81-yard march. In fact, this was the tenth play. Wiley got him close, and then Wiley got him in the end zone. Jermaine Lewis waiting on Stoltz kickoff. Freddie Mitchell's back there with him. This will be Freddie from two yards deep. Got Collard at the 15-yard line. Switch quarterback, Drew Bennett's been hot. They're going to come in with Corey Paws. Paws gets the call from just outside his own 15. Spin inside. Might not be ready to play. That's where that suspension shows up. Second down and six, Paws. Throws on the run, completes it out to Stanley again, the fullback. You will. He almost is the mirror image of Cade McNown. Here's a toss. 
Nice play defensively by Nate Clemens and the list like Gary said seems to go on forever. Here's a pass pause overshot that one and get pause from the shotgun. Danny Farmer hasn't touched the football yet tonight. Here's a throw over the head of Jermaine Lewis five yards for him. Just got this one away as well. And a diving catch by Nate Clements. Ohio State. Steve Belisari in at the controls. The give. There it comes. And a penalty marker down. As face mask. Got a face mask. Well, I'm going to believe that for the rest of 1999 at least. I thought you were going to say the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's uh, Pete Holland to side. Prior to the snap, illegal contact defense, the five yard penalty results in a first down. The game going right now. It's kind of their third offense. That's the sixth penalty on the Bruins. And inside, they try to run with Combs, and there's just not much there. You Second down and nine. Belisari, his first throw, completes it. Kenyon Rambo. They want to do everything balanced, so they don't have anything in particular in mind to get these guys the ball, Gary. Well, they try it here and pull it down. Reggie Germany to the seventh. First and goal. Now it's Combs. Bangs his way down to the two yard line. Not for him to still be in this competition. He has an air about him that the coaches love. He's back to throw. To the corner. Rambo. Touchdown. So Belisari comes in and lights up the crowd at the scoreboard. Ohio State in front. Stalks in for the point after, has it up and good of the Buckeyes. Their second touchdown of the night. Stalks to kick. Freddie Mitchell, five yards deep, will take a knee. Fresh pause, who comes out at quarterback again for the Bruins. Play action. Corey loads it and fires Danny Farmer. There needs less than 100 to be the all-time receiving yardage leader. Pause looking at a possible blitz. Going deep. Freddie Mitchell overshot everybody on that plumber. Two tight end set. Here comes pressure again. Diggs gets pause. And down he goes. Eight today. UCLA needs a huge play. It's third and 17. Pump fake by Paws. Going deep down the sideline. Freddie Mitchell didn't make the adjustment that he was looking for. Punts. Let's see if the special teams have made an adjustment on that. Nope, they got the return on, and he gets away a nice kick. Clements backpedals to the 29. Nate looking for some help. Got a couple of blocks, broke a tackle, and out across the 40. I'm not in the scene. Only Billy White Shoes Johnson can <laughs> lie better than you about their age. Here's Wiley. Six yard pickup. A second down and four for Ohio State. As we approach four and a half minutes, first half. Wiley blasts off the left side. Michael Wiley, first down, Ohio State by Wiley. And then it was Kenyon Rambo on the short touchdown reception. This time, nothing doing. 14 unanswered, by five points. Belisari sets, fires. Germany's got it. Inside the 35, that one was right on the money. With the loss of yardage on that first play, though, by Wiley, it still brings up third down and two. Straight ahead, the fullback's got the first down, and Jamar Martin. And they're going to get worn down by the big Buckeye line. Belisari pump fakes, wants to go deep down the sideline. Germany is out there, and he overshot him. And then pretty soon your team starts second-guessing you. You know we do. I mean, that, that goes with the territory. <laughs> Wiley on the toss. It'll be Belisari from the shotgun. Yeah, watch the quarterback running here. Here he goes. Needs eight, though. Broke a tackle. Dives. Got eight. And more. Like it. First down at the 17. Both wideouts to the top of your screen. It's the fullback. Martin inside the 15. It's an easy substitution. After the play. Dead ball. Personal foul. Late hit. Defense. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic. First down. In this quarter. Has ignited this Ohio State offense. Here's Wiley who slips on his cut. Wiley. Left side follows his blockers. Touchdown. That one looked easy. That one was easy. Wiley 
don't get me wrong, I know Mike Wiley's an outstanding football player, and I, you know, I, Lynn's right, he's going to be a good football player at what level. Trying to make it 21 unanswered, Buckeye points, and he does. There with national championship hopes for both. Freddie Mitchell from the goal line. Freddie straight up the middle, bounces it out to about the 23-yard line. I think it's an outstanding back. He's got uh, great feet. Uh, I think he's shown some strength here today, uh, ran and powerful, and, and I just think he's going to do a wonderful job for us this year. <laughs> you don't have to be from Ohio to <laughs> think that. Second down and four. Uh, Sean Foster trying to pop off a first down run and can't. We're at halftime here. Ohio State has countered with three touchdowns to lead 21 to 10. First, the big three guys have one catch. They got to be elated with that. Absolutely. The kick will go down to Rainbow. Seven yards deep. Kenyon will take. Need to come up with the big play. And both will continue to alternate quarterbacks as Mockerman gets to start in the second half here for Ohio State. Last game. Second down and five here, and the Buckeyes jump on the right. Prior to the Prior snap. To the Ball start. Offense. <laughs> you saw that big Five -yard exhale there from John, although in 21 coming into this, he didn't feel that way about this team. Amazing what a, a win over a team up north can do. <laughs> Dave Martin. Martin and Wiley flank him there in the spread. Manning thinking about a safety blitz. They are going to come with a secondary blitz. Mockerman pumps and then goes deep. Just overshot his intended receiver. Dolphs to punt. Would be returnable for Freddie Mitchell. It will be from the 35. Got a nice block. Trying to stretch it to the sideline and got only about five. And a penalty marker comes flying in. During the return, illegal block in the back on the returning team. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Every edge you can get on the 27. Best starting field position of the night, if you can believe that, for UCLA. Second down and seven. Without an earful anyway. Bennett. Bennett completes one finally to a wideout. Brian Poley Dixon's first catch of the night. 14 point difference there, an 11 point difference here. UCLA try to change that. On the option, pitch to Sean Foster. And Foster may have his best run of the night. He's second down and short from midfield. Pull back straight ahead for the first. Look, I'm due. Get me the ball. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Pitch it. Oh, pitch it. it. Pitch it. <laughs> there there it he did. <laughs> Deshaun Foster one-handed it. Still on his feet. Foster down to the 13-yard line. Flat down. The time. It's coming back. Second down about three. Got man-to-man -man out here on the wide receivers. And around, Freddie Mitchell, a lot of room and a lot of blockers. Mitchell inside the 30, 20, cuts back, and all the way down to a first and goal for UCLA. Melsby, the lone wideout, two tight ends set. Deshaun Foster on the carry to the corner, touchdown. The Bruins right back in the football game. And boy, did it get quiet in here. Deshaun Foster rode that ball right into the end zone, but Matt Stanley again is the guy that drove it in there for him. Griffith for the point after. It's good. So Deshaun Foster from seven yards out has put UCLA back in the ball game. They trail by four. Adrenaline's flowing right now for him, so it may not hurt as badly. And here's an onside kick by UCLA. Bruins had it bounce out, but I believe they covered it at the 38-yard line. But Matt Stanley's played tonight. Darrell Price is going to have to push to get his job back. Here's Mockerman throwing and a diving catch by Kenyon Rambo. One of his great assets. He's a guy that's got the kind of speed that Terry Glenn had here. And gained the quarterback's confidence. He's yeah. got five catches tonight, but only 31 yards. And this pass is tipped. Third down, 11. Mockerman, plenty of time. Deep middle, overthrew and intercepted. Picked off by Strykula. 
And the guy who walked on made his first start last week and was named defensive captain tonight. He just did it again. His second interception of the year at UCLA. They think long ball. Bennett loads it and goes incomplete. Nobody home at second down and 10 at the 47. Deshaun Foster broke one tackle. And got it with Jermaine Lewis, the tailback. Bennett steps up, fires, oh, intercepted geez. by Plummer. He was down, but he caught it. Ahmed Plummer. And penalty marker on the play before the snap. Listen to this official first. Illegal substitution, 12 men in the huddle, five-yard penalty, the down remains first. Mockerman threw the last one. Bennett threw one as well. Belisari in there now, the give to Wiley. And Michael Wiley. And the great shots we've had from the air, courtesy of Bud One Airship. Belisari thinking about putting one in the air, and does. Did he catch it? Rambo, the intended receiver, no. 68 yards from the shotgun. The left-hander goes deep in the middle. That Rambo, first down in UCLA territory. At the Not only has he got speed, he looks like he's a very, very good pass route runner. From the 49, Wiley with his fullback in front took that block. Jamar Martin helped break that one down to the 42-yard line. With 7.15 left third quarter, second down and three for the Buckeyes. Wiley on a counter. First down and a lot more. Wiley all the way to the 25-yard line. Probit, one of the wide receivers now, along with Chad Cascio. They're just going to keep running it, and this time maybe a yard. They might not catch 107, but they don't have to catch it. He's got to play that game. Belisari, the out, incomplete. Third and nine here. Here comes a blitz. He's going to throw a fade to the corner. Germany goes up and can't come down with it. And not a chip shot field goal attempt. They'll try from 43. Stultz missed from 44 against Miami and hit a couple 20-plus yarders. Got a lot of leg into this one. I don't think so. Nope. Pushed it to the right. He didn't get it. Drew Bennett. In there at quarterback, a little bit hobbled after that last series, and he goes straight up the gut. And that's where we are, 21-17, and Bennett comes up firing and overshot his fullback. But they're playing a rejuvenated UCLA bunch since halftime. Bennett. Almost intercepted by Nate Clements, who made a nice play on the ball. This kid to hurry up a little bit, although the return is on again. And the kick, Clements on the run at the 35. And a penalty marker down. Ball. Illegal block on the return. Porter's got Derek Combs and Jamar Martin behind him. This will be Combs. Fletcher's back in there again. Consider how thin they are. Second down along three. Belisari fires to Germany. That's a first down. That's a low percentage ball. They fake the draw. Belisari's going deep for Rambo. Penalty marker down. Joe Hunter. As you call defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. First down, Buckeyes at the 36 of the Bruins. Here's a toss to Combs. Got a couple nice blocks and then got pelted out of bounds. And a second down and seven upcoming. UCLA trying to keep Ohio State out of the end zone, trailing by four. They come up with a nice defensive stop there. Marcus Reese. To the near side, Germany out wide to the left. Here comes a blitz on Belisari, and he's going to take off. You can bet. Here he goes. Head to the stick. Did he get there? If not, he's awfully close. I think he's a little guy with speed. He's 6'3", 220. Down just outside the 25. And the fullback, Martin, blasts his way inside the 20. Guys are better throw players in the game than in practice. He looks like to be one of those guys. And second down, Combs all wrapped up. Looks like Ohio State is expecting the blitz. They're going to keep their tight end in here. Play action. Delisari, plenty of time. Fires on the run. Got Rambo. Now, where did forward progress go? First down at the 15. One more look. Pretty close. Combs, no gain on the play. That's another question. There's a lot of things. We get this slow motion. We can see yep. everything. Dave Perry and his group will be looking at that all week. Oh. There's a football. UCLA covers it. They've got it back at the 25. 
the defensive player of the game against Boise State last week who covered that fumble. Here's the option. Late pitch to Foster. Deshaun in front of Deshaun Foster. Play action. Bennett wanting to throw. Lost the handle, and it's covered by Ohio State. He just lost his grip, and Jason Ott said, I'll take it. At the 30, Belisari, nice play fake. Deep down the middle, has got a man wide open inside the 10. It's Wisniewski, his huge tight end. And it's first and goal. It's in this quarter, they find the Buckeyes first and goal at the 8. Wiley, down to about the 4. Maybe the touchdown, he'll go over that one. Going the wrong way. It's the fullback, Martin. Martin. Touchdown. tailbacks all night long and Jamar Martin just took it in what after has it up and good we've got one play left before the end of the third quarter it's Ohio State again by 11 backer three plays and 30 yards later the Buckeyes in the end zone Freddie Mitchell from the goal line Only out to the 21-yard line to end the third quarter. So UCLA's got their work cut out for them. Playing in front of a hostile crowd, they trail 28-17. ABC Sports presentation of college football returns after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Right when they need all their big hitters in this fourth quarter, they might have a hole in the lineup. He's trying to run it off on the sideline. Bennett. Play action, getting some heat, a lot of it. Down he goes. A second down at 13. Two tight ends set. Diggs thinking about a blitz, he'll bring it. Drew Bennett trying to buy time. Throws incomplete, intended for Jermaine Lewis. And that was the infamous 14 Irish on the field at one time. Here's a slip screen to Paulie Dixon. On the run with a head of steam. He made Clemens waits on the other end. End over end kick. Clements runs up on it at the 34. Got around the first man. A couple more. And across midfield. Nice run back by Nate Clements. He's at the controls from the 48 yard line. Here's the toss to Wiley. Got a nice block from Martin again. Wiley's over 100 and he's over the UCLA defense. And two touchdowns for Wiley now. Starting to put it together. He struggled in the first half for his yardage, getting it in bigger chunks now. Here's a quick toss. Reggie Germany almost got away from Ricky Manning. Second down and short. Rambo in motion across the field. And he might come back for the end of the round and does. Got a great block from his quarterback, Kenyon Rambo. Stepped out of bounds at the seven yard line. This is a decleater. Knocked him right off his cleats. And then the action afterwards comes back and gets a defensive end, Rusty Williams. Good point. At the eight-yard line, first and goal. Man-to-man -man outside on the slot. Straight ahead. Fullback, not much this time. And receiver, man-to-man -man outside. On Rambo. They roll that way, looking to throw, and he does to the end zone. Touchdown. Penalty marker at the eight-yard line, but Gary called it and Belisari delivered it. Let's see what the flag's about. Offside, UCLA, touchdown, Ohio State. Offside, defense. Penalty is declined. The touchdown is good. From the left arm of Belisari, who holds for the extra point. And it's just tucked in that left upright by Stokes. There's the hot quarterback. Is he fired up or what? 35-17, Buckeye. By Martin and then Belisari to Rambo a moment ago, and they lead now 35-17. Ricky Manning back there as a kick returner after Freddie Mitchell was shaken up. He's got the confidence. Now football is fun again. He should continue on this track. And he and Germany, we just saw on the sideline, both happy campers right now with their team in front, 35-17. <laughs> Second down, 10 a yard. Straight up the middle, first down. John Foster still trying to drag guys out there. 
And they need a bunch of them right now from the 34. And it's pause at quarterback. On the roll and throw it long. Danny Farmer's open. Got him. Down to the 26-yard line of Ohio State. UCLA trying to get something in gear here and get back in the football game. Pause. Throws out in the flat. Got his fullback, Geithner. And Geithner bangs his way down very close. Freddie Mitchell's checked back in at wide receiver for UCLA, but they keep it on the ground. Jermaine Lewis, nothing doing in there. Melsby and Farmer, the wideouts now for pause on second down and 10. Looking for Melsby across the middle. He almost caught that for the touchdown. Third down and 10. They've been terrible on their third down conversions this half. Pause to the end zone. Farmer, and it's in and out of his hand. Oh, boy. Was thrown a little bit behind him. 33-yard field goal attempt by Griffith. And a kick up, and they figure they need three somewhere along the line. They get it here. Right now, they trail 35-20. Certainly not the one that made Ron Dane look like Jim Brown in the Rose Bowl, I'll tell you that much. Edger and James and Ron Dane are going to have to send part of their salary. <laughs> Third and nine, Belisari airing it for Germany. Got it! Wow! At the nine-yard line. Way on on, they can start to make plays at that wide receiver position. Westbrook, left side, touchdown! Everybody's joining the party. Jerry Westbrooks, a junior, takes it in from eight yards out. Defense, especially in the second half. Stolt's extra point is good. 6.37 remaining. Bob Toledo saying, come on, guys, let's hang in there. It's hard to hang in when the Buckeyes have shown us so many weapons. They lead 42-20. Still make a run at that Pac-10 championship. Stolt's kick. We'll go to Manning at about the four. Ricky Manning, the freshman. Did he lose the ball? Sure did. Fumble on the kick return. Still trying to unpile bodies. Let's see who's got it. Thank you, UCLA. Got UCLA it had a two-quarterback system. Right now has. Corey Paws playing quarterback for UCLA, and he zips it out to Brad Melsby. And Melsby, the other scores, there's the Purdue game that we had earlier for you today on ABC. Here's Paws, and it is intercepted. Threw it right into the wrong Paws. Donnie Nicky. Game in hand. Ohio State goes back to their initial starter after Belisari came in and lit things up. Here's the toss to Combs. Nice little sidestep to get down to the 44-yard line. Next to me. We'll talk with Joey in a second. Here's a play action for Mockerman. Goes back the other way. And Chad Cashier with a catch. Going to come back here, you know, help the younger guys and also help ourselves. I don't know if many guys are going to lift it or a bench press of 400 pounds or you bench press or come up with your speed, but Kenyon Ramble. And David Boston, by the way, the all-time receiving leader with 191 catches. But Chris Carter's 168 is still number two. Oh. So, about Budweiser's own Bud One airship, seen by millions on its ongoing goodwill tour. This Bud's for you. Guys, thanks for being up there. Beautiful pictures on a beautiful night. And they're three and a half minutes away from erasing some of the memory of the, and getting rid of some of the bad taste in their mouth from that Miami opener in the kickoff classic. Pause in and out of the hands of Purdue and Penn State. Yep. And they have to be ready at the quarterback position for those three teams. A pause, throwing out complete to Danny Farmer, and he's out of bounds. Heisman possibility, 22 of 25 for four touchdowns. Are you kidding me? What a great player. Wow. 14 out, John. John, you're down 22. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Just under three to play in the game. Pause, going deep. He's got a man down the sideline and overshot Brian Poley Dixon. UCLA still searching for theirs. Pause from the shotgun. Fires way out too far in front of And Nate Clemens, fair catch taken at the 31-yard line. Here in the fourth quarter, Ohio State just trying to ice this thing away on their way to a win over UCLA. Both teams will be one and one. Second down and 11. Here's a toss to Derek Combs. Want to stay in bounds, and I don't think he will, though. 
ten either. I just think you're going to see more of the same this year that you saw before. Watch out for Nebraska. And they did put a look in on Cal today and did it with, I don't know if you want to call it two-quarterback system, but they got Couch in there as much as Newcomb was shaking up and probably shouldn't have been in there. Freddie Mitchell got hurt on a kick return. All of a sudden, all that depth at wide receiver and all that talent at wide receiver might be a little bit thinner as UCLA gets ready for the Scott McEwen in at quarterback. So it's a three-quarterback night for UCLA. Oh, that one's almost intercepted. Second down and 10. McEwen blitz coming. Down he goes. Man. Pause from the shotgun. Handles the low snap, steps up and fires over the middle, incomplete. Clements goes for a catch and tries to take it on the hop and will. And a penalty marker down in Tallahassee. 42-20 here in the final moments as Wes Brooks, who scored a touchdown tonight, takes it out to about the 44-yard line. Directed by Chip Dean. Jeff Suarez, our technical director, associate producer, Margaret Schaefer, associate director, as Jerry Westbrooks takes it wide around the left side. Ohio Stadium, which is where we'll be again next week. And you got to think the Ohio Bobcats are looking out of this game tonight going, oh, are you Jerry kidding West me? Carried. <laughs> 15 seconds, that's the final play of the game. John Cooper, we showed you those five winningest active coaches. There goes number 180 for John Cooper. And for the 21st straight year, Ohio State wins their home opener. 42-20 is the final tonight over UCLA.